compared to the flu, uh, COVID-19 is, um, is more lethal, probably 10 times more lethal than the flu, uh, but it is also probably a little more transmissible, um, which means that it spreads more easily in human populations. You know, over 80% of the people who acquire the infection are mildly symptomatic or asymptomatic. So they don't, people don't know that they're spreading it. So it's a combination of um, being spreadable, having a large component of people who are asymptomatic but are still capable of spreading the disease, and then you know having a, a certain amount of lethality um, that makes it such a remarkably um, persistent pathogen. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, every single time we've made a big mistake, whether it's not wearing masks up front, whether it was releasing controls without being ready, I mean, the virus has found the weak point every single time. There are, well, well over a, over 200 probably vaccines that are in various stages of, of testing. Some of them are you know, conceptual, some of them are being actually developed in the lab and tested in animals. 47 are in human clinical trials. And of those 47, the, the group that's in the front are, the, are those vaccines that are in uh, what we call phase three testing, the final stage of human testing, where you determine whether a vaccine is actually safe and protects people against disease. Of those, Pfizer has been the first to announce, but there are a number of Western and Chinese companies that are getting pretty close so that in November, December, January, you may have five or six announcements of results.